Hey everyone, it's Yolanda. I'm back with another card tutorial. Today we're going to be making a card using the Stampin' Up! Top Note die. It's uh, one of the original dies that Stampin' Up! came out with. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can probably see the shape, and I know a lot of you have probably already seen it. So we're using that, and then I'm using the die, um, the new pennant die. And we are going to be using the little cuts that come out of it. They look like doilies. This is that one. And then the other size. And then it has three size pennants. So we're going to be using just the little cutouts that look like doilies. Okay. And then I'm using uh, one of the texture plates. This is the small dots. Okay. So let me show you what I've done. So I've taken the top note die and I've cut it out of crumb cake and we are going to be using a stamp set called Flower Fancy. Now a while back when I wasn't a demonstrator I had started taking all of my wood mount stamps off of the wood just to save some space and putting them onto CD cases and this is what I have done. And I didn't use any rubber or any cushion or anything because they're pretty deeply etched and if you're careful enough you don't really need anything because they really give a good impression so that's why you don't see the you know the wood or the like the image on it okay so that's what I've done and what I'm gonna do first I kinda have some stuff prepped off to the side so I can just keep it moving along um, I'll show you what I mean so with the top note die what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take this image from the set and I am going to take the same color uh, crumb cake and this is the outline of some of the flowers I'm gonna take the crumb cake first before I do anything and I'm just gonna stamp it on the back and when you use the same color ink as the same color paper that you're that you're stamping on it gives it a um, tone on tone effect so it's light uh, not you know not too heavy and adds something to it so I've done that and then what I wanted to do was add some texture to it. So that's when I ran it through the, the, the texture plate with the dots. So I'm going to move off that one off to the side because I have one already here that's already done. Okay. And then what I did is I took a strip of very vanilla cardstock. And it's the same, um, a little bit bigger than the width of the top note. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Stampin' Roller with the very vintage wheel in it. And if you haven't ever seen or used one of these rollers, they're really cool. This is the jumbo size. It comes with um, the wheel. You buy the cartridges, excuse me, you buy the handle, the cartridge, the ink cartridge, and then the wheel separately. So let me take it out for you just so you can see how it goes. And of course I'm probably going to, let me do this this way. Okay, so this is how the wheel comes, okay? And then it snaps right in. Well, first you put your cartridge in. <laughs> that one shot across. All right, so this was actually an uninked cartridge, it, and it comes. they come covered like this. If they're inked with the specific ink color that you buy, then, you know, obviously they're already inked, but you keep this on to prevent them from getting dried out. Or you can buy uninked cartridges and do whatever color you'd like. So I bought this uninked because I just wasn't too sure yet what color that I wanted to use. And I ended up going with the crumb cake. So what you do is you take off that cover and then you pop your cartridge down into the handle and there's a little um, little edge right here and you just push it down like that kind of snaps in. Then you snap in your wheel and they also have these in a smaller size and then what you do is you push up on that cartridge so that the ink will now be rubbing against the wheel okay and then you're gonna give it a, a few turns I'm gonna flip this paper over just to get the see you get the um, eel the eel the wheel inked <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and ink right across this but I'm just gonna use my ruler as an edge so that I know I stay straight so I can Put, and we do have a wheel guide. I just didn't want to take it out. I'm going to butt my um, cartridge up against there and I'm just going to roll across oops, roll across the paper, okay? Like that. And then 
what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get my die and I'm going to lay it right across here as I want to cut the shape of the top note so I could layer it. So I'm going to lay it across here, run it through my big shot, and then I'm going to end up with a piece like that. Okay? So this will fit perfectly on top of here. Okay? Then I want to distress my edges just a little bit, and I'm going to use a Stampin' Up! scissors, and I'm just going to rub it back and forth to distress a little bit. We also have a we have a distressor in the catalog. I just haven't gotten around to ordering it yet. Okay, shake that out. And then I'm going to take my little sponge dauber and I'm going to use the early espresso ink and I'm just going to ink up the edge just a little bit before I attach it. And then I'll go ahead and ink all around the edges. Oh, before I do that, I am going to take one of the little flowers that's in the set and I'm going to ink it up using Calypso Coral, which is one of the new ink colors. And I'm going to ink that up. And because I don't want it super, super dark, I want it just kind of muted on the background. I'm going to stamp it off a couple times and then I'm going to stamp it. And then you really get um, a different color going on. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take that off, and then I'm going to get the leaf that goes with that little flower, and I'm going to stamp it in. This one is the Lucky Limeade. It's a really pretty green. It's also one of the in colors, and I'm going to do the same. Just adding a little bit of background to my stamped image. Okay, so then I'll go ahead and attach it. Where did I? Oh, here it is. Sorry. Okay, and I'm going to attach that right here. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and get my finger dauber again with the early espresso, and I'll go all the way around the top note shape. Now for time's sake I pre-cut a lot of the stuff and I'm actually going to make a set of cards so I've cut out six sets of everything. Well six cards. I cut everything out at the same time so I could just do like an assembly line. Okay so we've done that so I have the card base that's going to go on the back, and it is a piece of cardstock, very vanilla, that is 4 by 6 I've already folded it. I scored it um, at the 3-inch. Across the 6-inch wide, I scored it at 3, and then I corner-rounded it, and I've already put my tape on it. And that's going to be our card, and it's going to fit right on the back. So we're going to go ahead and just put that on now. So that's actually going to be my card. Okay. And then I've taken one of the little doilies uh, cutouts from that pennant die, and we are going to attach that right here. Okay. And then for time's sake, what I did is I stamped the large flower that's in the set on very vanilla using the uh, Lucky Limeade again in the um, Calypso Coral. I stamped it on the very vanilla cardstock and I cut it out. And I want to make it look a little crumpled and just, I've shown the crimper before. These have been around forever. I know it's funny, I had some people tell me that they hadn't seen the crimpers. Well, when I first started stamping, crimpers were really popular. <laughs> and I've kept mine because I've loved it. So what I'm doing is I'm just running it through the crimper over and over just to loosen up and break up the fibers and make it easily um, so that I can kind of shape it how I want make it kind of look old so I'm going to take those uh, like I like to call them potato chip looking creases out and same with this one I cut out the flower and the leaf okay 
and then if you wanted just to, you know, to bend it up a little bit, you can. And then I'll go ahead again and do the early espresso all the way around to make it look like an aged little vintage flower. And then I kind of real lightly went around the whole thing to make it look a little better. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and attach that right there using some Stampin' Up! dimensionals. And I like to do it in threes if I can, like a triangle. Okay, we'll just peel those off. And then those will go right down. That will go right down here. Okay, and then I have the leaf. I'll do the same thing to it that I've cut out. And then I'll just take a little bit of the Tombow. I use the heck out of mine, if you can tell, the adhesive, the liquid adhesive. And I'm going to need my little tweezers for this one because I want to get up under there. Okay, so I'm going to glue that down. Okay. Then I wanted to add a little tiny sentiment, oops, sorry, little tiny sentiment down here, but I didn't have the exact stamp that I wanted that didn't have other sayings too. So I found this one. It says um, it comes out of the Smarty Pants set, and it says Friend Good Frankenstein. So I'm just going to take a little piece of a scrap of the very vanilla paper, and I'm going to ink it up with early espresso, just trying just to get the friend part of it, and I'm going to stamp it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just cut out that part. Okay. And then, oh, I can even it up. I can see, kind of see where I wasn't too straight. I'm a pretty good eyeballer. Okay. Get that out of the way. And now I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to run that through the crimper really quickly just to make it a little bit look a little bent up and stuff and then I'll do the same thing with the early espresso just ink up the edge a tiny bit and then use my Tombow and I'm just gonna add that right here friend okay and then Stampin' Up! has this new Dazzling, dime, dazzling details. It's our glitter in a little bottle, like a little glue bottle. So I'm just going to add a little bit to my flower center. Or it would be really pretty if you added one of these buttons. They're really cute. I made another card and I'll show you. One of these little buttons right here. It comes in a set. It's in our holiday catalog. And they are the designer buttons, the Holly Berry, Holly Berry Bouquet. And you get 48, and they're in red, and then that green. They're super pretty. And they're two different sizes. They're really cute. Okay. So, anyways, but for this, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do it like that. Okay. And then I wanted to make, I'll do this really quick. I wanted to make a cute envelope to go along with the card, which is what I've done. Um... Well, I'm just going to show you, show you how I did it. Okay, it's a little it's a little smaller for this catalog for this catalog for this envelope. Okay, the card is, but I wanted to make something really pretty for you to be able to send it in or to give it in. So, I'm going to show you what I've done really quickly. I just have to measure one thing. Okay. What you do is you take one of the envelopes. This is the very vanilla envelopes and you go ahead and you seal it. Which is what I'm doing off camera and then I'm gonna slice off from the side that would be the side I'm gonna slice off about an inch and a half and do that really quick off camera okay I'm just gonna slice off an inch and a half okay and then what I'm going to do is I make sure I have this right okay so my envelope this is gonna be actually my pocket where the envelope, where the card goes in so I'm going to go ahead and take my wheel again, but at an angle this time. And I'm just, where's my ruler? Okay, 
Okay, I'm just want to make sure that I get it right. So I'm just going to put my ruler right there and I'm going to start back here and hope that I don't move it. I'm just going to wheel right across the bottom like that. Just trying to add a little something to decorate it. And then I'm going to go ahead and ink up my flower again, that same large flower that I used to cut out and put on the front of the card. I'm going to ink it up in the Calypso Coral. I'm going to stamp it off once just so it's not so dark and I'm going to stamp it right over that writing or that wheel. And then I'll go ahead and take the leaf and stamp that up. And then I'll add that there. Okay, so this is the cool part. This is what we're going to do. We are going to run this through the crimper. Okay, and I'm doing it because I'm what I'm well, I'll show you what I'm trying to do. I'm going to run it through the crimper this way with the, um, I guess that would be the width, okay? I'm going to run it through the crimper. And what you've done now is you've kind of um, made it less wide so that the that part of the envelope that you cut off, that will fit over it and that would make your um, your closure right there, okay? but I have to decorate this part. We don't want it just plain. So what I've done is I've taken that top note and I cut off just part of it and I'm gonna quickly, I think, stamp again in uh, crumb cake. I'm just gonna stamp up that same stamp that's just an outline of the flowers. I'm gonna stamp that across like this. okay? And then I've taken the doily, the larger doily, uh, the larger doily die cut and I've just cut it in half. I've cut it out and then I just cut it in half and I'm going to just add that right here on the top. And then I took a piece of the designer paper from the Spice Cake collection. It's super cute. It's in the holiday mini catalog. I'll have to show you all the sheets one time but they have a green one that really coordinates with that Lucky Limeade. And I stamped the small flower and I cut it out and I put it up on a pop dot Oh, I cut a one and three quarter circle out of the designer paper and cut that in half. And then I cut out the flower and I put it on a pop dot. And so we're going to put that just right there with some Stampin' Up! dimensionals again. This one I'll just do two because it's not so big. Okay, so that's just going to go right there. Super cute. Okay, and then we're going to take our card. We're going to take our card, but... Okay, that's the one I just did, so we can't use that one. It's wet. So we're going to take that one I've already done that's dried. Okay, and I'm just going to slide it in here. And then, oh, i got to attach this. Sorry. We are going to run some of the tape, and then I'm going to adhere this down right there. So I decorated my little flap, and then our card will just, I mean, you, it's not hard to get in there. You just got to line it up, make sure you have everything in there perfect, okay? And there you go. You have a super pretty card with a different twist on an envelope, and you can wrap ribbon around it. But I hope you liked it. Um, like I said, I cut out six at a time, so I'm going to crank out six of these cards, and this would make a really special card to give to someone. So anyways, if you have any questions, um, I know I kind of breezed through it and there's a lot of other things I could have, you know, slowed down a little bit to show you. But if you have any questions, just leave me a comment and then I'll get back to you. Okay. Thanks for watching. And if you have any, if, or if you're interested in ordering any products, you can click the link on my page, on my YouTube page, um, the link for my website, and it'll go straight to my Stampin' Up! website. Okay. So thanks for watching and um, have fun creating. Bye.